Welcome back to the channel everybody, it's your boy Shader Rich coming back to you guys live with a brand new GTA Online video and in today's video we got a few things we're going to talk about. Number one, we have a brand new patch DLC update coming next week that we just heard about so that's pretty exciting news right there. We're also going to be talking about an unlimited money glitch that's allowing players to basically sell their garages for millions of dollars in unlimited amount of times. We're going to be talking about that in today's video. We're also going to be talking about the next DLC and what we can actually expect when we can expect it to release and yeah just pretty much all the information about that right there but yo if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you drop a like on it and if you guys are brand new make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel with all notifications turned on here on this channel we just keep everybody up to date with what's going on in gta and gta online in general so yeah man if you guys are brand new around here make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on i also want to let you guys know that i am hosting a huge eight million dollar shark card giveaway how you guys can enter this giveaway is by dropping a like on today's video and also subscribing with notifications turned on you also want to make sure you head over to the comment section and comment the console you play on as well as your gamer tag because that is the way i'm going to contact you guys if you are the winner now you guys can also go ahead and comment the amount of money you currently have in gta online that helps me a lot with choosing a winner and yeah man good luck to each and every single one of you guys entering the giveaway let's get right into it so starting off in today's video, as I said, we have a brand new patch update that was just leaked out that we're actually gonna be receiving next week. We don't know exactly what's gonna come with the patch, but as you guys can see, Test Funds 2 says QA beta activity has stopped, so we may get the new patch this upcoming week. So for those of you who are new around here, you probably don't know what the QA beta is. We usually talk about it in a lot of videos, but basically in simple terms for everybody to understand, the QA beta is how we know when Rockstar is working on something or there's going to be a brand new update and how we know when something is new to come to the game. And as you guys can see, here's the history of what they're actually doing. Since three days ago, they updated something. And then four days ago, they did something seven days ago. And then of course, nine days ago. So we kind of can keep up with seeing what they're doing. And usually they do it in a pattern as you can see it was nine seven four and three and they completely have stopped updating the qa beta so usually when they stop updating it that means we're gonna get something new and so next week we should be receiving something new because they haven't updated it in the past three days now when rockstar releases a brand new patch it can mean one of two things either they're gonna just be fixing a whole lot of things a whole lot of issues in gta online in general or they could just be adding some brand new content and that could be anywhere from vehicles to weapons to properties pretty much anything rockstar decides that they want to put in the game and so that's what we're going to be expecting to come next week i will be keeping you guys updated with future videos so that you guys can understand what the brand new patch is about and honestly guys it could pretty much be for anything as i told you in the beginning of the video in today's video we're also going to be discussing the brand new unlimited money glitch that actually allows players to get a lot of money extremely fast so that can also be the reason why they're going to go ahead and release this new patch to probably fix some things around that money glitch but honestly they usually hot fix glitches so i don't really think the new patch is based around that but we're going to go ahead and discuss exactly what's going on in the community right now now you guys already know man i had my fair share of time with money glitches i actually used to be a money glitching channel i used to be deep in the glitch community i am no longer in that community i pretty much base my channel now around like gta news and gta 6 leaks so that's pretty much what my channel is about now but back in the day man i used to do these glitches and you guys know if you guys are ogs you probably used to get rich off my channel but like i said man there's a brand new crazy money glitch that is out in the game right now and basically a lot of players are taking a lot of advantage of it and i'm here to tell you guys first man if you guys come across this money glitch i don't know who's posting it i don't know the content creators making these videos i'm literally not even attached to that community anymore i don't know what goes on anymore but like i said man if you guys are even thinking about doing it you come across a video i'm telling you now don't do a money glitch like that okay i'm telling you why because rockstar basically can track all the transactions that you're making especially when it comes to the properties they can clearly see when you sold or bought a property it's like in the game on your account so i suggest you guys don't do it as you guys know there was a huge apartment money glitch that came out maybe a few months ago and everybody caught the bandway from that i mean people were getting reset like completely reset like they didn't just lose like the money in their account guys like okay they take some money rockstar takes some money that's cool but when rockstar takes away all your vehicles all your level progress all your mission completions everything like they completely wiped people's accounts away and people have to start from zero some people had their accounts since the game came out in 2013 some people had these accounts since the game was re-released on playstation 4 and xbox one 
back when it was 2015 so a lot of people lost a lot of stuff from completing these money glitches man so like i said man if you guys really do cherish your account and you are one of those players who have your account for a long time and you've been playing on this account for a long time then you should not waste your time on a get rich quick scheme which is a money glitch because like i said man it is totally not worth it honestly guys if you guys are going to be doing this you're risking your account getting wiped completely you will literally if you're a level 1000 your level will be reset back to zero okay also man if you guys have a lot of money say you have 50 million and you just want to get to a billion you guys will lose that and go back to zero you know what i'm saying it could be closed in your actual uh custom account where say you guys have like modded outfits or whatever they will reset all that stuff they'll take away every clothing item that you have every vehicle every property if you have a yacht they'll take that away pretty much anything you have on your account will be reset back to as if you just bought the game today and booted it up for the first time so like i said guys it's not worth it okay stay far away from money glitches right now i'm telling you guys especially what rockstar has planned for the future of gta online there's going to be a brand new expanded and enhanced version coming out this year okay this year which means gta online is going to look way better than it looks now it's going to have way more things that it has now and it's just going to be a all-in-all -all better game and i feel like the entire gaming industry the entire gaming community of people who love to play video games will be coming to gta like it's going to be a flood of players coming right back to gta so you don't want to be one of those players who are stuck at the bottom trying to get to the top you know what i'm saying with a wiped account it just is not the best way to start out a brand new version of the game and like i said man there's gonna be all kind of new things there's gonna be new properties new vehicles and just a whole lot of cool things in gta online so i do not suggest you guys risk your account by looking for this money glitch if you guys are really struggling for money there's so many other opportunities you guys can take advantage of that will not get your account banned and i talk about it here on this channel almost every single time i post a video i'm telling you guys what's the best ways to make money as far as the brand new event weeks and stuff like that so like I said, man, take full advantage of that stuff and do not waste your time on money glitches because like I said, I had my fair share of money glitches. You guys know if you guys are an OG of this channel, you know Shaded used to do all the money glitches, man. So don't waste your time on these money glitches. Like I said, this is coming from a real OG glitcher. Don't waste your time, guys, because you will end up getting banned or money wiped. But that brings us to our next story of the day, man. And this is just the hype building up, guys. Now, I know there's not a lot of news or a lot of details because Rockstar doesn't tell us anything. They've never told us anything, and I don't think they ever will. Everything is always going to be a surprise, and most games do the same thing. I mean, at least Fortnite gives their fans teasers, you know, like that's really cool. And I mean, Rockstar has been getting better with that you guys remember when the casino dlc was about to come out we was getting a little bit of hints and a little bit of leaks there and then they started kind of doing like construction work around the casino and they took away the sign and then they just revamped it completely that was like the closest thing to like a leak that we got and then of course the kyle perico heist where they put the guy on the beach and he was just rolled over in the sand and we kind of got a figuring of yo maybe this was washed up from an island or something and then we kind of figured out that oh the next dlc is the kyle perico heist now they haven't done anything like that yet but i believe that what they are going to do is either we're going to get a very very small spring dlc like it's going to be so small it's going to be smaller than the summer dlc that we got last summer and then from there going up into the summer going over to the christmas dlc sometime in between summer and christmas we are going to be receiving the expanded and enhanced version of the game and once we get that that first initial dlc of the expanded and enhanced edition of gta online is going to be extremely huge so like i said guys that's what we can expect to be coming in the future as far as the release date details in today's video i really feel strongly that if we are going to get a spring dlc it's not going to come until like late april even if they decide to do it and i feel like it's probably going to be so small that they're probably not even going to do a spring dlc but i know that they have something planned really big for the summer because expanded and enhanced is right around the corner but yo if you guys went ahead to enjoy all the information in today's video i want you guys to drop a like on it if you're brand new make sure you guys subscribe with notifications turned on to stay up to date with pretty much everything in gta online here on this channel and also just a final reminder to enter the eight million dollar shark card giveaway because it is ending pretty soon but with that being said it has been your boy shaded rich until the next video i love you guys i'm signing out peace